I think it's important when bringing this technology to a production to make everybody feel comfortable. Although this is new, it's not scary. It's just another tool in the tool bag. I was excited to use this technology, but I was also a little afraid of it. It creates an immersive environment for your cast. So when Sean was driving, he kept almost being afraid he was gonna hit pedestrians because there were people crisscrossing and he was like, oh right, it's not real. I mean, it is real. We shot the drive on an array car with nine cameras and then projected the drive. So what you're seeing is real. And then Dakota looks out the window and cars are whizzing by. She could actually see the street lamps and everything. And so they're engaging with a real sense of time and place. No DP shoots the same and they don't use the same tools. And so oftentimes you're dealing with a very bespoke process. What we often try to do is figure out what parts of our actual tools can get put in the hands of the people who already know how to create with them. That is one of the benefits of the Disguise Media Server platform. It is very well integrated with DMX, Streaming ACN, Artnet, all the different things that we use for lighting control. We have the lighting console, the traditional sort of programming route from the gaffer and the programmer, and then our color information that's being mapped from the video. What ultimately happens is we can send color information to the lighting fixtures for some movement and variance in light as the cars are passing. Then we can give them back control of the overall intensity. So it's like the best of both worlds, we both have the control that we want. Our mission at Disguise with virtual production is to not stick out or stand out on set, it's actually to disappear. And it's really about the creative driving the need for technology rather than the other way around. A large part of this production is also the reflections that we're seeing in the car. Inside we've got the divider and all the reflections that we're seeing there. So whether it's from our hero wall or from our row C3 ones that are in the ceiling, we also are using them on rover stands and that allows additional light to come and fill in as needed. For this particular shoot, we found the apps in PL 2.5 Pro 8 scan tile to be really useful because it's high resolution at 200 pixels by 200 pixels per tile helps in the tight confines to avoid moray on this camera. The other great thing about this tile, they're driven by Brompton processing. Brompton's made huge strides in serving the needs of the film community and the specifics of virtual production. We knew from day one that the goal was to capture final pixels. What we were seeing on the screens most likely was gonna be pretty close to final. And that's actually where the setup from four wall really came together. Usually when we work in virtual production, the walls tend to be fixed. For that, it was a little different because the whole entire set was modular. We no longer had to think about the environment or the sequence. We can focus just on the shot. And we all were constantly communicating. Let's move the wall, let's increase the brightness, let's change the content, right? So if you think about it, there's about three or four things happening simultaneously. And that's actually where like magic happens. And, and this show is a perfect representation of what that looks like. I'm at the monitor and I can see what it's actually gonna look like. Not what I think it's gonna look like later, what it actually looks like in real time. So then I could work with four wall on even being extremely intentional about what you saw outside the windows. Fade and Papa Michael, my incredible cinematographer, he could also engage with the environment. So for example, we're on Sean, a car whizzes by his window. As Soon as the car passes, Faden would hit him with some red light from the taillights of that car, right? So then suddenly we're all playing in the sandbox together and we're all able to offer more and more details to lend itself to the feeling of reality. I've had people say every single detail feels so intentional and I'm like, I'm so glad you feel that way because it is, it's gut-wrenchingly intentional. It really allows us to utilize these surfaces as not just a light, not just a, you know, a piece of gear, but as a part of the story. I think that's the most important part of what we do is we're here to make everybody else's life a little bit easier.